talk to the group a little bit about what some of the reasons were that CNIB let, made the move from BlackBot to Salesforce and what that looked like and, and the decision process and who all was involved. Sure thing. Um, you know, we were on BlackBot Razor's Edge for a number of years. Uh, and it was part of our transformation. Like we were digitizing everything. Our move to the cloud uh, was happening about five years ago now. And, and so one of the key factors was looking at what other organizations like ours were doing. So other organizations for the blind uh, across, you know, across the globe, uh, where were they going? We tend to like to take that approach because we get to share our experiences we get to you know talk to salesforce as a as a unified group when there are issues or when we need certain things to change so that was a big factor um, but uh, also uh, very importantly is we wanted to take a lot of things off of it's plate so the cloud does that in general but the ease of use with the salesforce platform uh, and especially on the reporting side the ability for executives to pull their own reports just was a godsend, right? So, so it was a couple of those factors uh, that played a part. The opportunity to start with the the P10 package and sort of see how it went for a particular business unit and then grow it from there was a really big part of that as well. Uh, and then there were great teams and great integrators uh, available to us both in Salesforce and in the sort of the integrator ecosystem. Uh, so a lot of that just sort of aligned. And, uh, and it seemed to be the right choice and we're still quite comfortable with it today. Fantastic. Um, Carl, do you have our, the same question over to you just in terms of, you know, what were some of the reasons that led your organization in this direction and what, mm -hmm. you know, who was involved and, and how's it going? Yeah. So I'm a bit unique in that situation because um, I came in, uh, the mustard seed was on razor's edge uh, historically here for, almost 10 years before. And so 2018, we uh, they had decided to move over to Salesforce. And the first year they moved over to Financial Force, which is maybe not the, the best way to do it, but they, uh, they were very keen on um, moving over to uh, a new financial system. And, it, uh, and so they wanted to do that. And so I actually came in uh, 2020 um, and so I was working with the people that were part of that transition for the first year and was able to kind of understand. And I was brought in really to do more of an audit of the system and see how we could optimize it more from that kind of perspective. But um, from, from talking to some of those um, that were there at the time, the big, you know, as, as Frank said, the reporting was huge. Uh, it seemed like there was a lot of expense that was put into um, needing support and training and that kind of a thing for, for Razor's Edge. Um, and so the, the attractiveness of having the trailhead training and all of that stuff that was free and, and uh, onboarding was, was easier, was very, very attractive. Um, the op the whole open API aspect of it uh, that it's not locked down kind of thing uh, much you know it's you can customize it to do whatever you want um, there were there were serious limitations that they had um, you know at that time they wanted to really venture into the uh, email automation and um, Volun you know, for at the mustard seed so we serve the homeless in our cities and uh, we have um 30,000 plus volunteer database and so the ability to integrate the volunteers into that same constituent base and see kind of a, a holistic picture of a constituent um, was was you know something that everybody dreamed of um and always wanted to have and so that was that was a huge component of capability to do that um, data security was not one of the top uh, back in 2017, but it certainly became a high priority since the, you know, the 2020 blip with BlackBot. And so the multi-factor authentication, you know, has been uh, awesome for us. It's been huge, you know, just to be able to do that. We've done that with Microsoft 365 as well, and just kind of that security for us. Um, 
So uh, those are kind of the, the overall, I would just say that as they grew in complexity in multi-city sites, you know, going to the cloud, um, wanting to be more comprehensive and having a customizable system was of, you know, the benefits that they were looking at.